Hello, Jade. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Jade? I'm fine. Thank Great. you. And you? I'm fine too. Thank you. I'm here with uh, Diana and Jessica. They kind of short up um, early today. Okay, it's 9.05 and I think it's time to get started because time passes by so quickly. So allow me to go to the whiteboard. Uh, my camera is focusing and then focusing a little bit. So I need to turn on another piece of software. And this is a control a driver in, in Spanish. It's called a controlador, but in English it's called a driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look a little funny, but it's just gonna be one minute. I'm gonna go closer. Then I'm gonna go a little farther. And let's see if I can fix that. Yeah. Now it looks clear. Meanwhile, Hoyle is coming in. I come back to where we were. All right, and this is me, and I'm going to turn off my background. Hello, Joel, good morning. Hello, teacher, good morning. Oh, great, so Joel is so enthusiastic. I think he just drank like two coffees or three coffees this morning. How many coffees did you drink, Joel, or Coca-Cola? No, one cup of coffee. Just one cup of coffee, all right, but this extra yes. coffee, extra coffee from Guatepec, Veracruz, Veracruz. Uh, yes. Or maybe from Tabasco. Guatepec. Guatepec, okay. Uh -huh. No, that's the best. Yeah, that's the best. Guatepec uh -huh. or Chiapas? Uh -huh. Guatepec. Guatepec is very good. From the Cafetal or Café Bola de Oro? Uh, is one town. Oh, oh, oh. Que estás de un pueblito que está cerca de Sí, azúcar. Excellent. No sugar. That's the best coffee. Yeah. Me too. I, I learned to I learned to drink coffee in Jalapa City. Let's see. Yeah, it's just fixing. Wait, I'm testing my camera because it goes wide. Yeah, I, I learned many years ago. I went to um uh, some place between between Jalapa and Guatepec, this uh small finca, cafe finca. It's called El Cafetal. And they said, oh, come on, drink some coffee. And I was going to put a sugar. I said, no, 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 don't put any sugar in the coffee. You, you kill, boom, boom, you kill the antioxidants in the coffee. Just drink it like that. No sugar. That's the best thing. So if you want to stay young forever, you know, like a teenager, oh, electricity just paint. Wait a second. Are you there? Yeah, están ahí todavía, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, hubo una pequeña falla en electricidad. So I hope everything works fine today. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get started. Uh, we talk about, speaking of coffee, making coffee, that's actually a skill. One more time. All right, it's still there. A skill equals in ability okay a skill is the same word as ability so today we'll start talking about people skills right people skills um ability in english is no h right no h with ability so let's talk about you know people's skills you say people you, Jessica, Maria, Rosa, Pedro, Mario, all the residents living in Coaxacualcos, in Veracruz, in Mexico, in Guatemala, in the United States. So 
people that's very general, right? When we, so, when we do this apostrophe S, de la gente, de la gente, right? De la gente. And then we write the word skill with an S. People skills. What are some people skills? Well, let me start with one. Drive a car can be one of people's skills. What other people's skills can you think of? Mm. Yeah. Use a computer. Use a computer. That's another people's skill. What can be another? Oh, yeah. What is it? Cook, all right? That's another skill people have. Let's think of another. Sing? Sing, exactly. That's another skill some people may have. Uh, Parlez-vous français? Come on to the bell. Ah, je m'appelle Juan Carlos. Come on to the bell. Speak. Speak, right. Speak French, right. Or speak a foreign language. Like English, French or German. Okay, good. So let's try another one. This one, yeah. Or a bicycle. That's right, ride a bicycle. We'll do it short, okay? We'll do it short, bike for bicycle. Another one. Swim? Swim, exactly. That's not people's spell. Uh, swim. Okay, let's try another one. Yeah. Play a basketball. That's right, play basketball. Play basketball. Guitar? Huh? <laughs> Play the guitar. Okay. So that's going to be here. Okay. Let's try another one. Just trying to think of another one. <gasps> I don't know, we got cook, sing, use a computer, drive. Um, I don't know, can you give me more, please? What other people's skills can you think of? No? Nope. Dance? Yeah, thank you. I had that in mind, but I didn't write it. Dance. Very good. Dance can be another one. Another one. Oh, yeah. This is tell good jokes. Okay. Tell good jokes. Uh, ¿Sabe por qué el perro entró a la iglesia? No idea? I don't know, teacher. You don't know? Porque la puerta estaba abierta. Es aquí cuando se ríen. So, did you know why the dog entered the church? 
no, I don't know, teacher, because the door was open. So the dog went into the church, right? It's not a religious dog. Okay, let's tell good jokes. Contar buenos chistes. Well, this is what is a very good one. Okay, let's think of another one. Let's think of another one. Write it back, okay? Uh, swim, cook. How about play basketball, swim, use computer, computer. Uh, wow, what is this? A computer. All right. Hmm. What about this? Can't remember what that is. Okay, so let's let's put this one here. Write poems, you know, like aquel caracol que va por el sol en cada ramita. So that's actually but write poems. All right, let's see another one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, some other people have other uh like this. Make friends. Easy, make friends easily. Make friends easily. Oh, hello, I'm Juan Carlos. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Good, come on, friend. Let's go to my house and blah, blah, blah. Right, let's kind of make friends easy, easily. Um, what can be another one? Um, let's see, like read fast. Like read fast. Did you get a piece of paper? Finished. Yep, read fast. Good. Let's try another one. Yeah. Make a cake. All right. So let's kind of make a cake there. Um, let's think of another one. Do math in your head. Do math in your head. Okay, that's four plus four equals plus four plus four equals eight. So that's do math in your head, not writing it. Another skill. Think of another one. Um, yeah, this one. In a picture like Picasso. All right, let's think of another one. Wow, good. So take good photos. Take good photos. That's an S. Take good photos and there's many, many, many other skills that we have. Okay, we just go over these skills, people's skills, me, your skills, my skills, everybody's skills. So let's start with the, fir the first one. Tell good jokes. That means contar buenos chistes, right? Make friends easily. Hacer amigos fácilmente. Dance, well, you know that one. Drive a car, well, you know that one. Write poems, escribir poemas. Use a computer, usar una computadora. Make a cake, hacer un pastel. Cook, cocinar, sink. Well, you know that one. Do math in your head. Hacer matemáticas mentalmente. Speak a foreign language. Hablar un idioma extranjero. Read fast. Leer rápido. Uh, ride a bike. You know, andar en bicicleta. Paint a picture. Pintar un cuadro. Right. Swim. Well, you know that one. Take good photos. Tomar buenas fotos. Play basketball. Jugar basketball. Play the guitar. Tocar la guitarra. All right. So all of these skills are just some common every common skills that people have, okay? Here, okay, let's start by uh, doing this. The ones that you can do, that's gonna be can, and you're gonna put a check for that one. And the ones that you can, you can, do, you're gonna put a next, next to it. For example, me, this one, really bad at it. This, 
Um, uh, I mm, nah, I don't think so. Drive a car. Yeah, I'm really good at it. This one. No, you said, yes, of course. Make a cake, no, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So put an X if you can do these things or put a check if you can do these things. So let's give you a minute, please. And I think you'd like to copy, if you copy that on a sheet of paper, that would be great, or in a word processor. You got it? So please copy eso y ponga la palomita. Las que pueden y tachita, las que no puede hacer. Please remember when you finish, you say, I'm done, which means, which means I have finished. Are you done? No. Not yet. All right, no problem. Not yet, teacher. All right, no problem. Yeah, exactly. That's that's one thing you, that you can say, not yet. That's how we say, you're not done. You say, not yet. Okay. What is a complete phrase? You can say, this is a complete phrase. I'm something's happening to my brain this morning. I'm not all right. So now just put it somewhere else. Just put it somewhere else. Over here. Okay. So all we take is not and yet. And that comes down to not yet. It's like when your boss says, hey, Tiana, do you have the report ready? Uh, I'm sorry, boss, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet.
I'm down, teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Diana. How about everybody else? Are you done too? Wait. I have a video of a girl that re, uh, uses the expression I'm done. Let's see if I can get it. Facebook, videos, my videos. I'm done. Thank you so much. Somebody's trying to connect that Sophia. Um, I'm trying to find a video, but I can't find that video right now. Oh yeah, I got it. I just found it. One plus one is two. That is fact number one of today. Who can tell me what? Okay. So I wonder if you're copying that still. Let me show you. Let me share this video with you where you're copying. See, this comes from a movie. The name of the movie is Gifted. Gifted in English. Or uh, una niña de talento. Una niña prodigia in Spanish. That's two plus two is. Who's got it? Mm-hmm. Four. Excellent, Donna. It is. Two plus two is indeed four. Okay. Who wants to try three plus three? Three plus three? Really? I beg your pardon? What kind of school is this anyway? It's the kind of school where students don't speak without permission. All right. Everyone knows this. Nobody in this classroom speaks unless they are called upon. Okay, is everybody clear on that? Yes, ma'am. Good. Barry, can you stand up, please? Stand on up. Stand up, babe. These questions are for you because you're so advanced. What is nine plus eight? 17. Yeah, yes, it is. That's good. What is 15 plus 17? 32. Yeah, that's, that's, that is right. All right, then. Well, what is 57 plus 135? 192. Uh -huh. Can you tell me what 57 multiplied? by 135 
Okay. Who can tell me what? Four. Seven thousand and six hundred and ninety-five. Square root is eighty-seven point seven. Now change. Now what does ad nauseum mean? I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, the word "don" wasn't there anyway. Okay, so that's a super intelligent girl. I was trying to uh, make sure the word "I'm done," "I'm done." I'm gonna put. It, I'm gonna play it later. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's a song I have over there. Okay, yeah. So now, mm, excuse me. Yeah, now it's gone. I'm done with that. Now, let me erase this thing because we're going to be writing some sentences. And the sentences we're going to be writing are the one that's uh, the, the, the one that's valid. Right. So. So I'm going to be using two connectors, two conjunctions, which one of these is and, and the other one is the conjunction but, right? And, and but, and and that. So let's look at the first conjunction, and. So we use and when we have affirmative and affirmative, right? And we use that in the middle of a sentence, we place a comma, a comma, and then we use the word and, basically. Affirmative and affirmative. So let's look at uh, let's look at two things I can do. Well, actually, I can do these two things. So I take these examples. I can make friends uh, easily, right? And I can drive right there's a comma there and we use and and we use that so i can make friends easily and i can drive right so we put this together by using the conjunction on because this sentence is affirmative and this sentence is affirmative so both that's kind of easy to do all right um so we use the other option but when we have one that is negative and the other that is positive, okay? One that is negative and the other is positive or vice versa. Example, we can use this as form, affirmative versus negative. So we use the conjunction, comma, but in the middle of a sentence. However, sometimes this can be the beginning and this can be the end, but still it's gonna be but right there. So either you know negative or affirmative over here. So let's have an example. Let's take an example. Um, let's use use a computer. I can use a computer. Which is affirmative, but I can, all right, let's take, uh, make a cake. Right? So I can use a computer, but I can't make a cake. Remember, that's a comma over there, and it's the word but for affirmative and the other part negative. Now, vice versa, we can do first a negative, and then we can do the affirmative later. So example, um, means blue. I can't, right? I can't tell the jokes, but I can drive. 
Now, as we can see, we have the negative here, negative first part, which is the negative. And then we have the positive, which is the second part. And then we have the comma over here, thing and the bat there to contrast two ideas. So that's how we use these conjunctions, N and bat. Now, I like you to write, I like you to write two sentences, two sentences. Actually, it's not two sentences because it's, it's, it's like one and two, all right? That is one. And the other uh, is also one and two, and that's with a but. So I like you to write two you know, ideas connected through and, and two ideas connected through but, only just two. Can you please write them about yourselves? It's not just individuals, though, that exp And did, was there something in you that said, I'm not done yet, and that's what? Are you called Sterling? So yeah, went off on a sidetrack, but I'm not done yet. I'm coming back. Are going to be people. I would say, you know, excuse me, I was speaking. I'm not done yet. You know, it's to sort of assert yourself a little bit. I definitely plan on coming back. I'm not done yet. I am. Um, I'm really.
Are you done? let go of what are you done with make a public declaration off no so um so i had to practice in you know so guess what after you get your college degree are you done learning no way like when you're done when are you done with the song i said i can't i can't i i called my friend billy and told him i said i can't i can't i i called my friend billy and told him i'm done i'm do you guys got are you done so i'm done i'm do you guys got are you done so and here we go Student A would say, would say uh, let me tell you a little about my skills, all right, period. Just different color. I can, but I can, whatever. I can, but sorry. And I can, so remember, that's one with but and one with and, right? And then you will ask the question, what about you? And this is the same person speaking. Hey, let me tell you a little about my skills. I can drive, but I can't ride a bicycle. Mm -hmm. I can use a computer and I can speak English. What about you? So person B is going to respond to that. Well, I can and I can. Right. Then the person is going to say, I can But I can, or if you want to put it the other way around, the positive here and the negative there, that would be okay to do, all right? So this is the interaction that we're going to be doing, this one over here, right there. That's interaction. So are you done yet? Are you done with your sentences? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to copy this part of the mini conversation frame that I like you to do. Oops, not the way I wanted it. All right, I'm just copying that part of the conversation. And so it's clear. Now I'm gonna share it with you through WhatsApp so you can have it with you all the time while you're you know sharing your skills with other students all right you got it through whatsapp and now it's time to practice 
with one person, then another person, and then another person, all right? Remember, practice makes perfection. Um, there's going to be a free, one student is going to be free and needs to wait for the next student, okay? So, un estudiante va a estar libre y necesita esperar otro porque tenemos números impares. Uh, no, another one. So, let's do this. Let's just uh, practice, you know, sharing your personal skills. Hi, Hugo. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, ¿Tus compañeros están practicando? Ahorita vuelven. Right. Estamos aprendiendo sobre lo que está en el pizarrón en la parte de arriba que dice and y but. ¿Lo alcanzas a ver? Sí, yes, yes, yes. yes. Ok. So, and, te explico brevemente, and la usamos como está más abajito. La usamos para cuando tenemos dos ideas positivas y esa es una conjunción para positivos. Como el ejemplo que sigue inmediatamente. I can make friends easily. Puedo ser amigos fácilmente. And I can drive. Y puedo conducir. Ambas oraciones son afirmativas, por lo tanto, es unidas a través del and. La conjunción but, que es la segunda que aparece en la parte de arriba, en la parte del medio, uh -huh. se, usa, se usa para cuando tenemos un contraste de ideas, una afirmativa y otra positiva, o viceversa, una negativa y la otra positiva. Okay. Ahí dice, I can use a computer, lo cual es afirmativo, but I can't, ahí estaba algo que borré recientemente, I can't drive. Puedo usar una computadora, pero no puedo conducir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Y, puede, yeah, y puede ser cambiado de otra manera también. Como te decía, primero el negativo, I can't tell good jokes, no puedo contar buenos chistes, but I can drive, pero sí puedo conducir. Así que igual vamos a la fiesta porque yo no cuento de buenos chistes, pero puedo servir el chofer. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. Bueno, entonces uh, lo que hicieron tus compañeros fue hacer dos oraciones de habilidades personales que tengan y el cuadro que ves en rojo, encerrado en rojo, uh -huh. es como está interactuando en este momento. Dice el cuadro okay. rojo. Ya, yeah. let me tell you a little about my skills. Déjame contarte un poquito de mis habilidades. Y ahí es donde pusieron sus ejemplos. Y luego preguntan, what about you? O sea, ¿y tú? Y luego ya la tú? persona que tiene la persona. La persona. Ok, ya. Yeah. Okay, That's good. Ya, yeah. okay. you're welcome. You're welcome. Mm Te voy a poner más o menos con Diana, all right, a ver si puedes practicar con ella, ¿sale? Okay, teacher.
thank you very much for the interaction. Now I'd like to listen to Sophia. Come on, Sophia. Tell us about your skills. Okay, I was going to say in the beginning. Okay. Um, I can. Um, the I can play. Uh, I can I can't play the volleyball, but uh, I can uh, swimming. I can swim. Okay. Um, I can play the video games in my computer and I can uh, read a book. Okay, that's excellent. So that's, yeah, that's really good. Thank you so much for sharing. So Tiana, can you tell us about your skills? A little about your skills. Yes. Yeah, um, I can make a cake, but I can't sing. I can play the guitar and I can read fast. Wow, that's great. So you can play the guitar and can read fast. Right, that's excellent. Nice talent. Cool. Um, yeah. I can swim, but I can read a, ride a bike. Right, you can still do exercise somehow. All right, that's good. Thank you, Tina. That were actually three. Thank you. Uh, how about Jessica? Can you tell us about a little about your talents, your skills? Yes. Yeah, thank you. I can use computer, but I can write poems. I can play basketball, but I can play guitar. I can sing, but I can read fast. I can dance, but I can swim. Okay, very good. You actually went for with four. You 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 explain more about yourself. All right. Thank you so much for doing that, Jessica. Uh, how about Jay now, please? Yes. Um, I can cook. I can cook and I can make a cake. I can use a computer, but I can write poems. I can sing, but I can play basketball. I can swim, but I can tell good jokes. Okay. Yeah. All right. He don't know how to tell good jokes, but that's very good. So uh, Diana can play the guitar and you can sing. So we we can make a band. You know. And sing in English. That's pretty good. Thank you so much. Eh? And now, Hoyle, please, can you tell us about your skills? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I can. I can play football, soccer. Yeah. But I can play volleyball. Okay. I can play Xbox. Yeah. But I can play. I can play. Video games in the cell phone. Oh, all right. Yeah, got it. I, got uh, it. Yes. Okay. You have any other? Um, no, is no. That's it. Oh, no. Okay, so you can play video games on the Xbox console, but you can't play. Uh, I said volleyball video games on the Xbox uh, console, but you can't play video games on the on the cell phone. Yeah, it's more difficult because that thing is very small. Very yes. small. Very small. <laughs> yeah, I know. I understand. All right. So thank you so much for you know doing that. You know, um, let me tell you a little about my skills. I can use a computer and I can cook and I can ride a bike, but I can't ride a motor a motorbike. That's the very, very difficult for me and a little scary. And what else can I do? Well, I can play the flute but I can sing. My singing is so terrible, so bad, All right? So those are some of my skills. And everybody has like, you know, positive skills and some people have, you know, absence and, or lack of skills. That's quite normal, it's very normal. So after this exercise, we can now review super quickly the following thing, which is the... Um, Let's see, yeah, this is the homework. I just gave you some homework. You see, two people completed the homework, two people. The others, I know you were busy, but right now you're gonna help me complete super quickly this little piece of homework. What is this homework about? What is, uh, what is this activity about? So that's very simple because uh, this, what we have to use is actually and, 
but we have to use but. Oh, we have one extra, which is or. We'll find out what or is, okay? We'll find out what or is, um, but basically we have to use, you know, this is, as we saw, this is for I can, and the other one is for I can't, or he can, or she can't, or something else. So we'll find out about it. So this is an intrigue over here. This is intriguing because I didn't see any with or. I have like no with or. We'll find out what or how that, is, that one is used. So let's start with the first one. First one is Juan. Okay, so we can say that Juan, it's affirmative. Come play the piano. And let's play the violin. He can play the violin. Sometimes we can use the word to at the end, right? Which means tambien. But if you just keep it like that, it's okay. So Juan can play the piano and he can play the violin too. Now let's try Matt. What about Matt? Number one is affirmative. Matt, actually, and Drew can act. Yeah, and the second is negative. So we should place a but. They can sing. All right? Next one about Alicia. Alicia, affirmative, first one. Can snow board, comma, but she, she can ice skate. Okay. And next one. Both are affirmative, so the connector is and, right? So Ben can take good photos and he can edit videos, right? And the last one, it's uh, first one is negative. Korean can write poems, comma, but she can tell good jokes. Okay, so this is the way it should go. I saw the examples of the two students that completed the activity in Google Classroom. They are really correct. So I'm just going to give you a 10 there. So you get it? Difficult? Not at all. That's easy. That's easy. You can describe people's skills by expressing them with can and can. You can also, um, you can also talk about your skills. Imagine you're in an in, in interview with an English speaking person. So the person will say, hey, um, can you dance? Well, yes, I can. I can dance and I can sing. I can dance and I can sing. So you can use two things. How about drive? Can you drive? Well, I can drive, but I can use a computer very well. So you're describing your, your skills, you know, to this interviewer uh, in English. So that's it. Now, part number two. What are we gonna do about part number two? Let's check out what is uh, the instructions read, how the instructions read, and look at part A, and then answer the questions, write short answers, write short answers, okay, short answers. Number one, can Matt and Drew sing? Matt and Drew, so let's check, Matt and Drew, Matt and Drew sing, uh, no, right? So no, they can't. Now, who can tell good jokes? 
who can tell good jokes? Who is that person who can tell good jokes? What's his name? Who can tell good jokes? Corinne? Corinne, no? Yeah, that's right. Corinne can. Okay, Corinne can. Can Olivia drive a car? Can Olivia drive a car? Olivia, Olivia? No, no. Olivia can't. Okay, that's right. No, she can't oh, she speak can't. here very much. No, she can't. Can Juan play the piano? Yes, he can. Yes. Yeah, he can. Yes, he can. He can. Very good. Uh, who can snowboard? Alicia. Yeah, Alicia, Alicia can. can. Right? She can. Yeah. What can Matt do? What can Matt do? That's affirmative. He acts. Yeah, that's right. He can act. Excellent. That's the way it goes. Okay. So one more time. This stuff is not difficult. This stuff is not difficult. That's super easy. Now, oh, we're going to move on to the next thing, but I like you to have this just in case you need to review this in the future, even though you can watch the video, but sometimes you just want, want to go and check that directly uh, on WhatsApp and see, hey, how do I complete this activity with can and can? And... This is how you do it. This is how you do it, and this is how you did it. So you can check that directly immediately. All right. So let me stop sharing because the next thing I'd like you to do is um, well, first I'll take you to the whiteboard one more time. It looks a little funny. I think I'll get rid of this stuff, and I think. Uh, I'm all set to get up here. So I, I, I can actually delete this super quickly. That's, uh, I can do this exercise over and over and over in my classes. Okay, so, so far we have looked at different things. And the thing I wanna show you is that when people ask a question with, can you? And then they ask this question. Basically what you answer to this question is, yes, I can, or no, I can't. That's pretty obvious. That's because the first part is can you, right? The second thing I'd like to uh, tell you is when people ask you about do you, okay? So basically when you answer these questions, you're gonna say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Okay, and the reason why you do that is because the first word you have is do. Okay, yes, I do, or no, I don't. So another form is when people ask you, are you? And basically right here, we use an ING form, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, of course. And when you answer this question, you say, yes. I am, or no, I'm not, okay? So one more time, the reason why you do this is because the first word in the question is, are you? So, and we take a look at this. 
when we talk about, you know, can, we talk about, we talk about skills. Can you dance? Can you dance? No, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, okay. Uh, can you drive a car? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay, come on. Let me, let me hear that. Can you use a computer? Can you use a computer? Yes. I can, uh, yes, I can use a computer. Okay, excellent. Yes, I can use a computer. Um, can you cook excellently? Yes, of course. <laughs> Very good. Uh, can you sing? No. No, you can't. Okay, thank you. All right. So when you talk about can, you talk about skills. Now, what happens when you talk about do you? You talk about routines and or habits. Okay, routines or habits. Do you work every day or do you study every day? Do you work or study every day? Do you work every day? Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay. And do you take a shower in the morning? Yes, I do. Okay. Thank you, Tina. What about everybody else? You don't take a shower? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, do you text your friends every day? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's right. And do you do you help do you help clean the house? Do you help clean the house? Yes, I do. Great. Do you cook? Do you cook your own breakfast? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm sorry. I do. Me too. I do. I cook my own breakfast. And do you do you clean the house on weekends? Yes, yes I, do. I do. Very good. Do you do you iron your clothes? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Excellent. Do you wash your hands before before eating? Yes, yes, I do. Excellent. So this is more about routines or habits. Okay, good. And are you plus the verb in ing form is for uh, actions now. All right. Actions now. What actions? This action. Yeah. Are you are you listening to music right now? Are you listening to music? Are you listening to music? No, I'm not. Pretty good. Are you texting your friends on Facebook or on WhatsApp? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, good. Are you drinking any coffee? Yes, I am. Cool. Me too. Yes, I am. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention to the teacher? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, Very, I am. Good. Very good. Are you Mexican? Are you Mexican? Yes, I am. Very good. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you from Veracruz? Yes, I am. Yes, yes I, I am. am. Very good. No, okay. So, no, yeah. Who, Diana, you're not from Veracruz. Where are you from, Diana? Um, yes, I am. Oh, okay. Creo yes. que fue Jessica. Oh, oh, Jessica. You're not from Veracruz, Jessica? I know Jessica is Jarocha too, right? Jessica, where were you born? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. 
You're from Veracruz, but you live in some other ah, yes, place. Yes, I live in uh, Tijuana. You live in Tijuana now. All right. So, okay, students. So this is the this is a basic principle for questions. The first word in the question, the first word in the question is the one that I'm gonna use to respond to the question. All right. But you have to understand. So if I want to ask a question about, for example, when I ask a question is about did you, okay, and then I do this thing over here. Okay, what is this question about? When you ask a question about did you, this is a question about the past, past activities. Okay, past activities. All right, and how are you going to respond to this question? How are you going to respond to this did you? How would you respond? Yes, I did. Exactly, because that's the first word. Yes, I did. All right, sorry. That's not how to, yes, I did. Or negative. No, I I didn't, all right? But this is about past activities, all right? Example, did you, did you watch TV last night? Did you watch TV last night? Yes, did I did. Yes, I did, all right. Did you eat, did you eat dinner yesterday? Did you eat dinner yesterday? Yes, I did. Excellent. Did you play video games? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Who was that? Jade? Or Sophia? Sophia. I Sophia. Did. Okay, good. So do you play video games, Sophia? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. So I asked, did you play video games? And then Sophia, yes, I did. And then I asked, do you play video games? Yes, I do. All right. Did you play? Jugaste? Juegas? Yeah, yes, I do. Okay, good. So what about next one? Uh, did you did you work? Did you work yesterday? Or did you take classes yesterday? Did you work yesterday? Did. Yes, I did. Yes, I, yes did. I did. Yes, I did. All right. Yes, I did. So I think Jessica didn't work yesterday. Uh, me, yeah, me, I didn't, I didn't work yesterday. So you got this? This is pretty simple. That's, you know, a basic principle for asking and responding to questions. So now with one exception, I'm going to eliminate this question because this question is, uh, vamos a ver en dos semanas, you know, this kind of questions, but that's like uh, anticipo. So I'm going to delete this. Pero ya pueden empezar a preguntar acerca del pasado, ¿eh? Muy fácil, eso fue muy fácil preguntar. So, let me ask you these questions. Uh, super quickly. Um, do you like salsa music? Salsa music. Do you like salsa music? Do you like salsa music? I, yes, I do. Excellent, Sofía. Um, can you dance salsa? Um, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good. All right. Are you are you listening to salsa music right now? No, I'm not. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And do you do you speak English? Yes, I do. <laughs> Excellent, All right. And um, can you speak French? No, oh, I, I can't. can't. All right. Are you speaking English or French right now? Are you speaking English or French? I'm speaking English, but I can speak uh, 
French. <laughs> French, okay. Yes, I know, I know. Besides, English is so so important. So, um, pretty good. Um, now let me ask you another question. Are you around your family right now? Are you surrounded by your family? Are you around your family? Yes, I am. Very good. Okay. And do you do you love your family? Do you love your family? Yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. Excellent. And can you can you cook? something delicious for your family can you cook something delicious yes i can cook. yes i can yes i can cook very good excellent so all right so all you have to do is just listen carefully and according to this you respond to that to those uh you know to those questions and that's basic something easy to do thank you very much so let's continue because time is flying by it's 10 20 already so I asked you to do was the following. Let me get you back to where I am. Hold on. Get you back to where I am. First of all, we do this. Second of all, which switch to, but I think it's not gonna take it. Yeah, I picked it, picked it my background so quickly. All right. Next activity you did about this was a reading. Okay. And again, some students completed the reading exercise, some students didn't. I know that even sometimes you don't have time to complete this, but we're just gonna do this super quickly uh, because we start a new topic pretty soon. Right, so this is a kind of test in the form of a reading. So we're gonna put your name like Jay-Z dot and then we're going to put a, you know, a, a mail. And then we're going to, you know, like have these exercises done that way. It says awesome sport records. Awesome. Awesome is like super sport records. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the first one. The first one goes like this. Base jumping. What is that sport? Base jumping is a dangerous sport. People jump off buildings, bridges, and other high places. The Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. That's a very scary jump. But Fred Fagan and Vince Ref, Refet of friends can jump it. They also enjoy skydiving and parachuting. So this is quite difficult. That is about the first uh, two people. Now, what about the next people? That's Kalamandalan Himalatha of India has an amazing marathon record, but it's not for running. She can dance and dance and dance. In fact, Kalamandalam can dance for 123 hours and 15 minutes. That's the longest dance marathon on record. Kalamandalam's special dance is from India. It's called the Mahini Yatan dance. Wow, 123 hours. That's about, I don't know, maybe like five days. That's 24. Divided into 24, I think is like uh, five days or something, almost six days. Dancing and dancing and dancing. I wouldn't be able to do all that. Right, now let's read about the next thing. The next thing is auto. Auto skateboarding dock. The skateboarding dog. Do you know about Otto? Otto likes surfing, skateboarding, and playing soccer. Otto is a champion skateboarder, but he's a dog from Lima, Peru. 
Otto has the record of skateboarding through the legs of 30 people. Wow, what an intelligent dog. Okay, so we'll move on and we'll try the others. Next one. Do you know what a unicycle is? It's a bicycle with just one wheel. David Wichenberg of Austria has the world record for longest jump on a unicycle. He can jump 2.95 meters, about 10 feet. Okay, wow, that's a big jump. And the last one is this one. Can you squash an apple? Squash like, can you squash an apple using just the muscles in your arms? One woman can. Her name is Lindsay Limber. Lindsay is from Texas in the United States. In one minute, she can squash 10 apples. That's one apple every six seconds. Wow. In one minute, she can squash 10 apples. Wow, that's incredible. All right, so now it's time to check out the exercise. What's special about a unicycle? What option do you think is correct? It has no wheels or it has one wheel, not two? What is the answer? This has no one, one wheels. Yeah, that is the answer. One wheel, because that's that's the name of a unicycle. Number two, who likes base jumping? David Wichenberg or Fred Fagan? Fred. Fred? Yeah, that's correct. Fred Fagan. Now, what sort of marathon can Kalamantalam do? Dance marathon or running marathon? Dance marathon. Dance marathon. Absolutely. How does Lindsay Limber squash apples? With her hand or with her arm muscles? With her arm muscles? Yes, exactly. What is one sport that Otto plays? Basketball or soccer? Soccer. Yeah, absolutely. I think, and then we just submit this and then view the score. And 10 points out of 10 points, great, okay? It's not the teacher, but it's the students completing this. I just put my name, but uh, actually it's not me doing this. Congratulations, congratulations. So students, now it's time to talk about your plans. November is almost gone. November, we'll say goodbye to November in three more days. Today is November 27th. Tomorrow is going to be the 28th, Sunday. And then two more days, Monday and Tuesday, goodbye November. Then December will come. Welcome December. And vacation is right here. I bet you have a lot of plans for vacation. Do you have any plans for vacation? Um. No. Not yet. Okay. Uh, uh, next year, yes. Maybe uh, travel to uh, Acapulco. Oh, great. Okay. That's a nice uh, tourist you know, destination. Acapulco is really great. Yes. And, yeah. And it's very quiet now because in the past, Acapulco was really crowded. But now it's just kind of quiet. And yeah. So let's talk about this thing. Let me get you there. Hold on, please. Give me just one second. Going to be opening this. Mm -hmm. Just one second, please, to open in the file. Uh, 
All right. So this year, no plans for vacation, but next year, yes. All right, here. And here we go. This is a new topic. The topic we're going to exploit in the next um, next two and a half hours. So I'm going to have a party. This is what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to have a I'm going to have a birthday party. Wow, there's something missing in here. I didn't realize that before. Wait a minute, that's something wrong here. It should be like, I'm going to have a birthday party. I've never seen that before. Okay. Let me just correct that thing. It should be like, I'm gonna have a birthday party. That's it. All right, so first thing that we have to look at, at here is the vocabulary, the new topic and the new vocabulary. And here we go, I'm gonna open this link, take you there and explain to you what this vocabulary is about. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's look at the first uh, thing. The word first, first means primero, right? And it's represented through number one, EST, EST. Second, second, it means segundo, which is represented through the word uh, number two and ND. Third, third means tercero, right? And it's represented through number three and the letters RD at the end. So order, Take out, order, take out. What is the meaning of that? Ordenar comida para llevar. Order, take out. I'm going to order, take out. You know, that means um, voy a ordenar comida para llevar. Stop by. Stop by means pasar a visitar por un breve momento. Stop by, right? Oh, I'm going to stop by your house. You know, oh, on my way back to my home, I, I can I stay, can I stop by? You know, yeah, yeah, sure, come. Be away. What's the meaning of be away? Estar fuera de la ciudad. Okay. I'm going to be away in December. Go biking. Go biking is andar en bicicleta. Ir andar en bicicleta. Go dancing is ir a bailar. Play the drums. Play the drums is tocar la batería. See movies or see a movie. Ver películas o ver una película. Do anything exciting. That means hacer algo emocionante. A special dinner means una cena especial. Gift. Un regalo. Meet, reunirse con homemade pizza, pizza hecha en casa. Take a person out for dinner. Take a person out for dinner. Llevar una persona a cenar. Desserts, postres. Desserts, postres. Check in la pronunciación. Desserts, postres. A fancy restaurant, un restaurante lujoso. Sounds like fun. Suena divertido. Spend, spend means pasar el día, el tiempo, etc. Spend. Thanksgiving, acabo de pasar este antier, I think, yes. That was Thanksgiving, Día de Acción de Gracias in the United States. Independence Day picnic, Día de Campo del Día de la Independencia, right? Yeah, or un día de campo, yeah, un día de campo. New Year's Day, Día de Año Nuevo. New Year's Day, Día de Año Nuevo. School party, fiesta de la escuela o fiesta escolar. Wear special clothes, ponerse ropa especial. Go to a parade, ir a un desfile. Go on a picnic, ir a un día de campo. Watch fireworks, ver los fuegos artificiales. All right, so we're going back. Watch fireworks, ver los fuegos artificiales. Go on a picnic, ir a un día de campo. Go to a parade, ir a un desfile. Wear special clothes, ponerse ropa especial. School party, uh, una fiesta de la escuela, a New Year's Day, uh, New Year's Day, sorry, día de, uh, de Año Nuevo, Independence Day picnic, un día de campo del día de la independencia, Thanksgiving, día de acción de gracias, spend, pasar el día, pasar el tiempo, sounds like fun, suena divertido, a fancy restaurant, un restaurante lujoso, desserts, postres, take a person out for dinner, um, llevar a una persona a cenar, I'm gonna take my wife out for dinner today, homemade pizza, 
pizza hecha en casa, meet, reunirse, gift, regalo, a special dinner, a special dinner, una cena especial, do anything exciting, hacer algo emocionante, see movies or a movie, ver películas o ver una película, play the drums, tocar la batería, go dancing, ir a bailar, go biking, ir a andar en bicicleta, be away, estar fuera, fuera de la ciudad, stop by, pasar a visitar por un breve momento, or the take out, ordenar comida para llevar, third, tercero, second, segundo, and first, uh, primero. All right, so time to get you back to our presentation. This is the first thing that we're going to do next. All right. So let's look at the months and dates. But first, let's listen to the months of the year. Let's say, uh, please listen. First, please listen to the pronunciation. Months and dates, part A. Listen and practice the months of the year. Months. January. February. March. April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Listen again and practice. And practice the months of the year. Months. January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And listen to this last time. Listen and practice the months of the year. Months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September, October, November, December. Okay, so these are the months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Uh, now let's do the following activity. I'm gonna be asking you to complete. And it didn't change, it's perfect. Now I need to make sure everything changed. So I have this question to ask you. Question, person A, what's um, your favorite month of the year? Okay. Yeah, actually you can just go, what's your favorite month? That's it. What's your favorite month? Do not say that. All right. So when you respond to this question, you're going to say two things. Uh, my favorite month is, and then you say it. Okay. Or you can just say this. It's, and then you say the month. And then A is going to ask, why, why is it your favorite Why is it your favorite month? In parentheses means optional. You can just say why, and that's it. Or why is it your favorite month? That's the optional. So person B uh, would say, uh, 
Because, porque I Sorry. It's not moving. I believe it. Something wrong here. Right, so it's not moving. Right here, you're gonna put because I can swim in December or I can visit my family, or I can do this, I can do that. Or another form is because, and then you're gonna say, I usually then, and then you put the month. Okay, so this is just a minute conversation we can, we can have about what your favorite month of the year is. And this is how we're gonna do it. So please, let's start with uh, Sophia. Sophia, you are person uh, A, please, Sophia. You're person A, the teacher, the teacher is person B. So you ask the question, Sofia, what's your favorite month All right, of the year? Okay. What's your favorite month of the year? Um, my favorite month is August. Mm, why? It's your favorite month? Because I can take a vacation in August. I can rest in my house in August. I can watch many movies in August. And I usually paint my house in August or I usually read some books in August. Um, or I usually visit my family in August, All right? Now, thank you, Sophia. This is the teacher, and Sophia is B. So, Sophia, what's your favorite month of the year? My favorite month is April. <sighs> okay. Why is it your favorite month? Uh, because um, I usually um, eh, salir con mis amigos. Go out with my go out with my friends. With my friend, and eh, in April it's my birthday and my and birthright uh, of my best friend. Okay. And because uh, I love. Semana Santa, como se week? Um, Holy Week, the Holy Week. The Holy Week is my favorite. Uh, okay, uh, time. Yes. Or vacation period, okay. Vacation period or time. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So you check the example, right? You check the example. This is going to be like a little guided conversation. I would like you to ask one another exactly the practice you just heard from Sophia and me. That's what I like you to do. So, but first I'm going to delete these arrows because you're going to be switching uh, between the two. So just remember one more time and last time, January, February, February, I teach it, but they say not every day, but anyway, you say February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, 
November and December, right? These are the different months. And this is the interaction that we're gonna have. So I like to make a copy of this and take a screenshot so you can basically practice it. Now I need to, well, I need to uh, first do this because I can't see anything. You don't understand, but wait, wait, don't get, don't get scared. I'm gonna place this right on WhatsApp. And there you go, you just got it. Mm -hmm. And now let's come back to our presentation. Use this one, but we'll just return to that. Okay, so it's time to work in pairs again. So maybe one student is gonna be without a partner, but I like it to practice this together. So let's see, one, two, one, two. Actually, we have more students, wait. I need to clear this up again and need to recreate. That's one participant is, needs to wait. All right, so now Joel is out. So please, uh, un participante va a necesitar esperar solito y en dos minutos le llega alguien a practicar con él o con ella, okay? So please, hold on. Así van a quedar, van a ser dos prácticas o tres. Um, let's do it, please.
Thank you everyone for the practice, right? Um, remember, because, why? Because, why, 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 because, why? Because, why can you? Because, why are you? Because, why do you? Because, so it's always why, and then you say because, 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 right? Because, okay, so now this is another question I usually have in Spanish. Uh, let's look at the dates. What is dates? Date is the number that numbers of dates in a month. That is about the dates. Okay, dates. The numbers in a month. So very curious because el día miércoles próximo. ¿Qué día es en español? Next. Next Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be what? Yeah, it's going to be the first of December. Next Monday is next month. Next Wednesday is going to be the first of December, and uh, the president of Mexico is going to make a speech for his third year of uh, the first first of December. Yeah, first of December. So. But I'm just curious because the first of December, el, el primero de diciembre, the, it's miércoles. Pero el día jueves, ¿qué día es en español? En español, el día jueves. ¿Qué fecha es el día jueves? El día jueves es el día 2 de diciembre, ¿cierto? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, the question is, ¿Por qué decimos el día miércoles es el primero de diciembre y el día jueves es el día 2? Se supone que si decimos el día primero de diciembre es miércoles o el miércoles primero de diciembre, tendría que ser que el día jueves es el segundo de diciembre, primero, segundo, tercero, right? O viceversa, tendríamos que decir que en español el día miércoles es el 1 de diciembre, porque el día jueves es el día 2. Mantener la congruencia, right? Pero en español siempre decimos, oh, hoy es primero de diciembre. Y al siguiente día, hoy qué día es? Pues hoy es el 12 de diciembre. No decimos hoy es día segundo de diciembre. Right? Sin embargo, en inglés, en inglés, yes, sí se mantiene la, la concordancia. First, primero, second, segundo, third, tercero, right? Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So, para todos los meses se lleva en la numerología ordinal de orden, right, order. Um, but anyway, let's listen to this. Yeah, yo creo que cada cultura ya somos así, right? Okay, ya somos un poquito así como que, okay. así se dice, teacher, pues así será. Ya, yeah, no tienen ustedes que cambiar de aquí en adelante. Ahora van a decir, el día, hoy es 1 de diciembre. Eso suena raro, ¿por qué dijiste 1? ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo se dice? Hoy es primero de diciembre. But anyway, so look at this. Uh, first, ¿De dónde tomamos la S y la T para representarlo numéricamente? The last two letters, right? That's the first. And the pronunciation is first. Some people may say first, but it's not the first. It's the first. That's the pronunciation. First, right? Good. The second, the same reason, right? We represent through the number two and the letters N, D. The third, okay, the th third, that's uh, the number three. And I'm going to open my camera right now uh, as soon as I put just the letters, okay. So the third of the, of the week, uh, the third of the month is represented to number three and the letters are D, third, okay, third. All the rest is gonna be fourth, fifth, and I said I'm gonna activate my camera, open my camera so you can see me. So all the reds is gonna be like I said, uh, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, right, etc., 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 until we come back again to the number twenty-first, as you can see here, the number twenty-first. 22nd or 22nd, right? Or 23rd. And then again, four, 24th, blah, 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 26th, 29th. And then we come back to the number 
31st, okay? One more time. So it repeats every 10 numbers, you repeat that, every 10 numbers. Well, except for 11th and then 12th. There we go. Let's listen, please. Listen to the pronunciation of these dates. These are the dates. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, Seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth. 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Okay, let's listen again and practice, please. Third, fourth, second, oh, yeah. first. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second. 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. So I just discovered I made a mistake. It wasn't after 27th, it's 28th, 28th. Made a mistake over here. Gonna correct that one, it's 28th, okay? So these are dates. Dates usually work with uh, the months, you know, all the months, all of them. So example, this is what I'm gonna be exemplifying this with. I'm going to cover the dates. So, and the person A, uh, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? So, person B, respond. It's on May. 16th all right and person a is gonna ask what do you usually do on your birthday 
what do you usually do on your birthday? And person B is going to respond to that. I usually, mm -hmm. all right. Oh, let me just put it. I usually have a cake with my family, right? Or I usually eat at a restaurant with my family or i usually receive presents you can also say it's gifts uh, from my family okay so this thing we're gonna leave it blank over here and this thing is also we're gonna give it leave it blank all right so let's have an example and wait let's have an example but first we get a exemplify this in two different ways all right let me make this clear that I'm going to put right here i'm gonna put the month and right here i'm gonna put the date okay so that's how it works now please i like to have a this is the teacher asking the question. This is the teacher, right? And this is going to be um, Diana responding to the question. Yes, I'd like to change the color of that. All right, it's not changing its color. Hold on, please. Okay, Diana, when is your birthday? It's on September. 27th. Very good. And what do you usually do on your birthday? Um, I usually um, go to my friends, to the cinema, or. Um, okay. I, or, usually, I usually go out with my friends. We go yeah. to the cinema. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, good. All right, now vice versa. All right, so Diana, you're gonna be asking the question to the teacher and the teacher is gonna be responding to that. When is your birthday? Uh, it's on May 16th. What do you usually do on your birthday? Well, I usually stay home on my birthday. I usually relax on my birthday. That's on May 16th. That's basically one day after Teacher's Day. And um, I usually have mole for dinner, mole and chicken for dinner on my birthday. And uh, my, my, my family gives me some presents or I receive some presents from my family. And I... I enjoy my birthday. I usually enjoy my birthday. All right. So now it's time to ask one another like that. So see the example, please. Complete the information. Complete the information. Everybody, let's complete the information about your, you know, when your birthday is. Complete it. And then complete what you usually do on your birthday.
please let me know when you're done you, you tell me i'm done teacher Are you done? Okay, so it's time to begin our interaction. Oh yeah, but before, yeah, no, let's begin the interaction. Okay, let's begin. Um, it's gonna be in pairs one more time. When's your birthday? You you have the information when uh, the birthday of your classmates are. So Jessica, please wait. Um, there'll be two other people working some other place in other rooms. So somebody will come to you in one minute approximately. So let's let's ask the questions. They are in Google in Google. They are on WhatsApp.
Okay, so now you know when uh, your classmates' uh, birthdays is. And we can organize some parties in the future. And, uh, but since we're all at home, we can buy our own gancitos and our uh, pinguinos and, uh, you know, share the birthday of each of us uh, while in home or at home. Okay, students. So now, before we continue, I'd just like it to tell you that in normal conversation, in a typical conversation, this word is not used, right? Most of the time. So like, when's your birthday? Oh, it's May 16th. So it's more practical way to say it, okay? When's your birthday? It's May 16th. Like, uh, Diana, uh, when's your birthday? It's September 27th. Excellent. So, Sophia, when's your birthday? Right, probably Sophia is busy, or maybe she's talking. Right, Hugo, when's your birthday? It's August 8th. Thank you. So, Jade, when's your birthday? Jay, what's your birthday? Oh, it's still busy. Jessica, what's your birthday? It's my uh, 26th. Oh, really? May too. All right. My birthday is May 16th. Okay. So when's your birthday? That's the question, right? And we don't use on. On is very formal. Of on is very academic, you know, like perfect, super perfect English. So I'm going to be asking you the next few questions like this one. Hmm. I need to wait. I need to delete this thing. These two are gone. So we don't need that. What we need is this. So I'm going to be asking you these other questions. What is wrong with my mouse? Okay. When's Saint Valentine's Day? When's Saint Valentine's Day? Um, then February uh, 14th. Yeah, that's right. Is February 14th. Excellent. Okay. So as you can see, we're not using the word on. It's on, which is super correct, but we're not using that for practical reasons, right? To be very practical. So that's what, how we're going to be responding to that. This is the month and this is the date, right? Let me tell you the period there. And then I can ask another question. When is uh, Children's Day in Mexico? Um, April 30th? You. Yes, it's April 30th. Very good. When is... Oh, when is Mother's Day in Mexico? It's May 10th. <clears throat> yeah, it's May 10th. Exactly. Both of you. All right, when is uh, teachers, when is teacher's day in Mexico? Ah, you don't know. It's May 15th, all right? It's May 15th, all right? Now, this is going to be very difficult. When's 
Father's Day in Mexico. It's. I was never. Yeah, it's in August. No, it's July. It's in July. July 3rd. It's the third Sunday in July. Domingo numero tres in July, right? Am I right? Yes, probably. Okay, when is in the Independence? When is Independence Day in Mexico? It's on September 15th. Yes, it's on September 15th, all right. So when is Revolutions Day in Mexico? Revolutions Day in Mexico. It's, on it's the, November. The, uh, November. November 20. November 20. Very good. So this is the last question, and this is super difficult. When is your mother's birthday? Hmm. Do you really? yeah. on May 10th. May 10th? Your mother's birthday? Happy birthday, mom. Oh, my yeah. mother is on November 19th. 19th? Okay. Cool. What about Diana? What about Sophia? Jade? Hugo? Do you November remember? November 21. It's on November 21. Okay, good. Somebody else? It's September 13th. Okay, good, good. So don't forget because, don't forget because if you forget, you get in trouble. You get, you are, uh, you will have problems. All right, so, so it's time to move on. Now, what do we use the months? What do we use the years? Well, we use the months and the years to talk about, to talk about the future. Uh, this is how we're going to use this in the next uh, minutes. So, future. Yeah, we're finally here. Different topic, the future. What is the future? The future with be going to. All right. The be with going to. And what is what is be? Well, B is nothing but M is or R. That is B. Okay. M is or R. Then going to. And then after that, right here, next, we need to place a verb. Okay. We need to place a verb. Now, I'll be standing up, students. So let me take you to the whiteboard because I need to explain all this new stuff to you. And uh, it's good exercise for me. So I'm going to stand up and let me erase this previous information. Okay. So how do we talk about the future? Future basically is expressed through going to. When you hear this word going to, it's because you're describing something that you're going to do in the future. Next. But the going to needs the oxygen, the the oxygen, so it can exist. What is the oxygen for going to? The oxygen is M or is or R, okay? Without this, this can exist. And right after going to, we need to place no ever, okay? So, oh, let me write this in a better organized way. Etc. 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 Let me write a sentence here. Example. Today is Saturday. We have classes until 1 p.m. 1 p.m. We finish. 
So I'll say, I am, because that goes with I. Am goes with I. I'm going to watch. That's the verb. After to, going to. You see that. And you see the am. A movie. After class. Look at this. I am going to watch a movie after class today. Right. I am going to um what am I going to do tonight? Yeah, I'm going to eat Clayudas for dinner tonight. That's around 8 p.m. tonight. And something else I'm going to do tonight, too. No, that's tomorrow. I'm going to rest a lot tomorrow. You see that? Three basic sentences. I'm going to, I'm going to. Going to is future and after class, after class is actually future. It's like two hours from now. Next, I am going, I am going to eat Cayudas for dinner tonight. Tonight means la noche de hoy, tonight, all right, esta noche. So, and I am going to rest a lot tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, no class, no work at all. So I'm going to rest a lot. Now, what happens usually when you do this kind of sentences is that we reduce this to I'm, but you have to have it, all right? You reduce this to am okay but you have to have it and reduce this to am sorry am all right so you say i'm going to i'm going to watch a movie after class i'm going to eat like you does for dinner tonight and i'm going to rest a lot tomorrow rest 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 and rest tomorrow okay you get it so i would like you to focus on tomorrow Let's focus on tomorrow and let's write three ideas about tomorrow, please. I'm going, I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase this first too. Yeah, and let's focus on tomorrow. So let me know what are three things you're gonna do tomorrow. Number one, remember I'm going to and then you put that one tomorrow. Number two, one more time. I'm going to, and then finish up that with tomorrow. And again, number three, I or I'm going to, and then finish that as tomorrow. Which is the future right here. Future time expression there. Think of three activities you're going to do tomorrow, please.
All right, so these are three things that you're gonna do tomorrow and uh, that's pretty easy to uh, complete. So I hope you have, I hope you have your answers. And now I'm gonna be asking you the question. What are, okay, what are you? going to do tomorrow, okay? So I am going to, I'm going to, and I'm going to. Let me ask one, each one of you, what are you gonna do tomorrow? Um, all right, so let's start with uh, Sophia. Sophia, what are you gonna do tomorrow? I am gonna to uh, the, I, I am gonna to uh, go uh, the party with my friend. Okay, cool. Uh, um, I am going to uh, find my host. Okay, good. Morning. Tomorrow, yeah. and I am going to. Um, um, I creo que nada más voy a hacer otras dos cosas mañana. Okay, no problem. So you're gonna do two things tomorrow. You're gonna go to. You're going to go to a party with your friends, and uh, you're going. You're going to paint your house tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. morning, check in. Uh, hay algo que dijo uh, Sofía. Dijo tomorrow morning. Okay, and that's a good thing. Eso es muy bueno, Sofía. Right, specifico, mañana por la mañana. Así se dice, tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, ten, siguiendo esto, afternoon. So it will be mañana por la tarde. Or tomorrow evening. Or night. Right, esos serían los tiempos del día. Okay, so... If you want to say tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, or tomorrow night. So that's that's gonna be great. Thank you very much, Sophia. So how about you, Jessica? What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to supermarket to okay. supermarket uh, for the evening. Okay, I'm going I to shop at the supermarket tomorrow evening. Okay. I'm going to park tomorrow afternoon. Okay. And I'm going to, uh, uh, how you say, dulceria? Uh, candy shop. Uh, oh, I'm going to candy shop tomorrow. Uh, okay. For the, for the prepare the party. Okay. All right. That's good to plan your party, to get your party prepared okay thank you very much jessica so how about ugo what are you going to do tomorrow i am going tomorrow morning play soccer okay i'm going to play soccer tomorrow morning there we go yeah and i am going to watch movie tomorrow afternoon very good e... <laughs> okay, no problem. Two things you're gonna do tomorrow. How about Diana? Thank you, Hugo. Uh, Diana, how what are you going to do tomorrow, Diana? I'm going to do laundry tomorrow. I'm going to clean the house tomorrow, and I'm going to the cin cinema tomorrow. Excellent. That sounds like a beautiful plan tomorrow. Thank you. And Jade, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to play soccer tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to rest tomorrow. I'm going to watch a movie tomorrow. I'm going to a little wake up late tomorrow. Very good. I'm, I'm going to wake up a little late tomorrow. That's it. All right. So now let's ask the teacher. Okay. Ask the teacher one more time. What are you going to do tomorrow? 
Right, okay. So first of all, I'm going to wake up early, late, a little late tomorrow, same as Jade. And I'm going to watch some videos on YouTube because I'm learning some things, right? And I'm going to uh, investigate something in the internet tomorrow. And I'm going to cook for my family tomorrow. And I'm going to, yeah, spend a long time with my kid. Um, I'm going to play with my son tomorrow. That's exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow. And of course, I'm going to relax tomorrow too. I'm going to relax tomorrow. That's it. And I'm going to go to bed early tomorrow night. I'm going to go to bed early tomorrow night. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay, good. Now, sometimes part of the plan is actually Part of the plan is something net. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to work tomorrow. This is negative. I'm not going to work tomorrow, okay? I'm not going to drive my car tomorrow. And I'm not going to speak English tomorrow, I think, actually. No, yeah, my friend from Slovakia just uh, texted me two days ago, and he said, Juan Carlos, uh, are you free on Sunday? Are you going to be in front on Sunday? I, I told him, yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I'm going to... I'm going to call you on WhatsApp on Sunday. So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to speak English with my friend from Slovakia, from Czechoslovakia, actually, not Slovakia. I'm going to speak French. I'm going to speak English with my friend from Czechoslovakia tomorrow. But I like you to think of two things, all right? Let's think of two things that you're not going to do tomorrow. Two things. What are these two things that you're not going to do tomorrow? I'm not going to, I'm not going to. And remember, right here, you need to put a verb, all right? And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You need to put a verb. What is a verb? A verb is like go, like cook, like work, like take a shower, like uh, do homework. Etc. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so there's two things. Now, look at the question here. The question is, what aren't, what aren't you going to do tomorrow? What aren't you going to do tomorrow? And let me start asking Jay, you're going to be the first one. What aren't two things that you're not going to do tomorrow? What aren't two things you're not going to do tomorrow? Um, I am not going to do my homework. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to cook tomorrow. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, please, Jessica, I'd like to know two things that you're not going to do tomorrow. I'm not going to work. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go to the beach. Okay, go to the beach. Okay. I'm yeah. not going to go to the cinema. Okay, I'm not going to go to the cinema. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, please, uh, Sophia, what aren't you going to do tomorrow? I'm not going to uh, work tomorrow, and I'm not going to the school tomorrow. Excellent. Great. Right. You're going to be home, but you're going to paint the house tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So how about, Diana? what are you going to do tomorrow, Diana? You can um, I'm not going to go to the office tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit down all day tomorrow. Excellent. That's right. So that's a different stuff you're going to be doing tomorrow. And so how about Hugo? What are you going to do tomorrow, Hugo? I'm not, I'm not going to work tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to cinema you're not going to go to the cinema tomorrow, all right? So, um, very good to go. Thank you. Uh, look, th this sounds like this sounds like this is repeated, you know, but it's possible. Going to and this is the verb, all right? Because all of these are verbs: go, cook, work, take a shower, do homework, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All these verbs, all, all these are verbs. All right. So let's ask the teacher. What? What? What are you going to do tomorrow, teacher? Yeah, right. I'm not going to teach tomorrow, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to go to Minnetonan tomorrow. I'm going to stay here in Guaxacualcos tomorrow. You know, typically, like every Sunday, I visit my mother, but this Sunday. I'm not going to visit my mother. I'm going to stay here in Quaxacualcos tomorrow just to take it easy, to relax a little bit. All right. So that's basically, this is it. This is um, negative. The former one was the affirmative, you know, thing. And uh, let me remember. Um, let's see if I can remember about some of the information. Say, Sophia is going to paint her house tomorrow. And she's going to go, she's going to go to a party tomorrow, as you remember that, okay? And I hear Diana, Diana is going to cook tomorrow. Diana, are you going to cook tomorrow? No, yeah. I'm not. Oh, okay. So my memory is though. Well, she's not, she's not definitely, she's not gonna cook tomorrow. So Jessica said, uh, Jessica is going to go to a candy shop because she's going to prepare for a party. Okay. Yeah, Jessica. Yeah, are, yeah okay, that's it. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And Hugo. Hugo is going to uh, play soccer tomorrow. He's not going to work tomorrow, but he's going to play soccer tomorrow. Yeah. And let me just remember about um, Jade. Jay said she's not going to cook tomorrow and she's not going to do homework tomorrow. Um, she's going to watch movies and she's going to get up late tomorrow yeah jay are you going to get up late tomorrow 
like 11 or 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So I remember Jay say that, right? She is, yes, she is. Yeah, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Yes, thank you so much. So my memory is still good. Now it's time to go back to the materials. Yeah, and basically this is what we have here. Yeah, we got the question. Look at this. Are you going to do anything special this weekend? Right? Yes, I am. That's the first part of the question, the first part of the answer. Yes, I am. All right? And then the complete sentence. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. All right? Or maybe you can say, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home or I'm not going to work. You can, now you can ask questions about some other people like Rosa, but for this we say, is Rosa going to cook dinner for you? Yes, she is, all right? Yes, she is, that's Rosa. And she's going to cook right, a special dinner. Or we can say, no, she's not. Uh, she's going to order takeout. Okay, only take out means comida para llevar. Now, look at this. This is for the plural. Are your friends, are your friends, are, this is for the plural, going to be, are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. Okay. They're going to stop by after dinner. Pasar un ratito a casa después de la cena. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, they're going to they're going to be away all weekend, right? They're going to be away all weekend. So, next, next, next. This is what we're going to do. Let's practice a little bit with this. Oh, look at these people. And this is the future. This is actually like a crystal ball. This is como una bola de cristal. Y vamos a saber qué van a hacer estas personas. So let's check out the first one. Uh, the first person. What is the first person going to do? And if you check at the base of this, this is, he's going to buy. He's going to go biking, all right? Going to and the verb go going to go biking okay number two what is person number two going to do number two he or she i think he he is going to yeah, he's going to swim. That's right. He's going to swim. Number three. What is this person going to do? Number three. That's she. She's going to. She's going to. Go to the supermarket. Okay, she's going to go to a supermarket or, or she's going to go shopping. All right, for uh, groceries, we call that groceries. Okay, she's going to go shopping for groceries. All right, so good. So good so far right now, so far so good. Uh, he's going to go bike riding or he's going to go biking. Uh, he's going to swim or he's going to go swimming, and she's going to go shopping, all right? That's what they, these people are going to do. So number one, two, and three, that's complete. Now, please, I would like you to complete what these people are going to do. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight, okay? Let's complete all these pictures. I'm going to copy the picture. I'm going to copy that picture. Copy. I'm going to share it with you. Through WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you got it. And now I'm going to ask you to work together and write the description of what these people are going to do next. So, hold on. Write the description of what these people are going to do. Okay, and there we go. You have about three to five minutes, please, to write this.
Okay, so it's time to come back here and write or describe what these people are going to do. We should wait for Diana and Sophia, they're still working. Diana is not in the room anymore, nor is Sophia. And now let's put all these right here. All right, remember number four. They are going to watch him play again. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's it. So um, they are going to watch um sorry watch a game yes exactly that's what i'm gonna do how about number five what's she going to do she's going to do homework okay she's going to do homework good what about number um six what's she going to do She's going to? She's going to dance. Very good. She's going to dance. Uh, number seven, what is it going to do? He's going to play in the drums. That's right. He's going to play the drums. Right. Number eight, what are they going to do? They going to watching the movie. That's right. They're going to watch a movie. Okay, they're going to watch a movie. So yes, that's basically what these people are gonna do. Uh, let me move these a little bit downwards so we can write all the others. Uh, do you remember number one? Yes, teacher, we remember. Okay, number one, uh, he is going to okay. Back. go biking. Yeah, you can you can see it at the bottom of the of the page. Number two, uh, he is going to swim. Number three, she is going to, she is going to go shopping or groceries, or maybe she's going to go shopping for vegetables only, but she's going to go shopping for something. Now, Let's do something over here. They, they are number four. They are, I'll try to, you know, separate these, see if they can fit. It's gonna be hard to make them fit, but just try to. Okay, number four, we can just reduce this to apostrophe uh, there, going to watch a game. Um, okay, and just gonna, Number five, she's going to do homework, or maybe also she's in the office, so we can say she's going, she's going to work, right? Number uh, six, she's going to dance, but we can also say she's going to go dancing. Esa es otra forma de decirlo, right? And the same for number one, he's going to swim, he's going to go, he's going to go swimming. That's another way, otra forma de decirlo. And um, that's it, okay. So let me put this in a very organized way so you can copy completely that. So let me put the number uh, six. I'm gonna take it off here. I'm gonna put it up there. And let me take number seven from here. 
and let me put it you know up there and let me take number eight from here and let me copy it up here all right okay so you got the eight different activities that these people are going to do i was trying to make it. all right so so let me just put it right here now let's do this exercise. This exercise has to do with memory. Let's see and test how your memory is, how your memory is, what, uh, what kind of memory do you have? Example, we're gonna say number, um, we're gonna say number, what is he or she, going to do period i mean question mark or maybe we're gonna say like number and then we'll say what are they going to do Okay, so in that space where the number is, I'm gonna put actually a number and that's gonna be the number. Let's try with like number seven. Number seven, what is he going to do? Then you go check number seven. He's going to play the drums. Exactly. He's going to play the drums. Thank you so much. Then we can change the number. We change the number to number two. Number two. What number two? What is he going to do? And then you go check is going to swim, all right? Or he's going to go swimming, all right? He's going to swim or he's going to go swimming. Now we can change the, the number. And that's gonna be number eight. Number eight, what are they going to do? They're going to watch a movie. Excellent, they're going to watch a movie, excellent. Very good. Okay, so I would like you to practice, practice these questions and answers, right? Uh, let's practice again, it's going to be one trio, there's three people on one team, all right? That's, I think is, uh, I think is uh, Jay, Jessica, and Hugo, and the other team, there's only two people. Practice asking the questions, one another, right? Say the number, Say the number and then right after that, ask the question. You got the sentences. Uh, to do this, I like to, you know, like copy this examples so you can practice. I need to clear this. I can go to WhatsApp and share that. There you go, you got it. Now let's come back here. Just keep it like that. And then I'll ask you to practice, please. Ask and answer the questions, please practice because after that, maybe we'll have a competition with, about your memory. Practice, it's on WhatsApp.
Okay, thank you so much again for the practice. And now it's time to cover everything up. And well, before I cover this, one, two, three, four. Um, okay, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it. So please don't watch anything. Do not watch anything. I'm gonna be asking you these questions. Um, okay, so question number one. Um, number three, please don't watch the answers, okay? Number three, what is she going to do? She's going to go shopping for groceries. Excellent, that's very good. Number five, what is she going to do? She's going to homework. She's going to do homework, very to good. do homework. Yes. Number uh, four, what are they going to do? They're, they're going to watch a game. Yes, that's correct. Um, number one, what is he going to do? He's going to do ride a bike. He's going to ride a bike. Yeah, he's going to ride a bike. Number eight, what are they going to do? They are going to watch a movie. Yes, exactly. Number seven, what is he going to do? He's going to play the drums. Very good. Number two, what is he going to do? He's going, He's going to swim. That's right. Number six, what is she going to do? She's going to do dance. She's going to dance. She's going to dance. Okay. She's going to dance. So, recuerden, cuando decimos va a, y ya decimos lo que va a hacer. Va a, she's going to dance. Uh, bailar nada más. Okay. So, ahora vamos a preguntar al teacher. Let's start with Jade, please. Jade. Alguna pregunta al teacher, Jade, para que practique el teacher también. Oh, um, 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 uh, what um, number three? Uh -huh. Number three? Um, what is she going to do? Ah, okay. She is going to go shopping for groceries or for vegetables. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Now, thank please. You. Yeah, thank you. Diana, please choose one number and ask me the question. Number eight. What are they going to do? They're going to watch a movie. Okay. Thank you, Diana. And now, please, Jessica, choose a number and ask me a question. Choose a number, number three. Uh, number three, what is she going to do? Oh, she's going to go grocery shopping or she's going to, yeah, she's going to go grocery shopping. Or she's going to shop, uh, she's going to go shopping for vegetables. All right. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Now, thank you. Sophia, please choose a number and ask me a question. Um, what are a uh, number eight? Uh, mm -hmm. what are they going to do? Oh, they're going to watch a movie. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. And Hugo, please choose a number, choose a number and ask me a question. Number five. What is she going to do? She's going to work at the office. All right. Yes. The teacher is good memory too. Now. Let me ask you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? 
tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to uh, candy shopping or prepare the party. Excellent. I'm going to go shopping or prepare the, the, uh, the party. Yeah. Anyone else? I'm going to watch a movie. I'm going to watch a movie. Excellent. And you know what? Me, I'm going to eat this delicious cake. I'm going to eat this cake tomorrow. Uh, so after class, I'm going to go to Pastelería Chocolate in Coaxecuarcos, and I'm going to buy a, a chocolate cake. And tomorrow, tonight, I'm going to eat some piece of cake. And tomorrow, I'm going to eat some more cake. Right? This is exactly what I'm going to do. A cake. Do you like chocolate cakes? Do you? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Do you like chocolate cake? Yes, I do. Yeah, me too. I love it with coffee or milk. I love this chocolate cake. All right. So we have a conversation about going to. And this conversation's title is, is she going to, is she going to bake a cake, right? Ella va hornear un pastel. Is she going to bake a cake? So there are two people in this conversation. That's Ava and that's Martin. And let's find out what they um, what they're talking about. So Ava says, "Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend?" Yeah, vas a hacer algo emocionante este fin de semana. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. You see, I'm going to celebrate my birthday right after two, and then the verb. Going to celebrate my birthday. Uh, Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? All right. When is it? When is your birthday exactly? It's April 21st. Okay. Sunday. So what are your plans? Right. What plans? Well, I'm going to go to my friend's Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Question, is Rosa going to uh, bake a birthday cake for you too? A cake for me? Um, I hope so. I hope so is, I hope so is this. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. So that's an expression. I hope so. Now, listen to the conversation, please. This conversation is about tomorrow. Or this weekend, sorry, it's not about tomorrow, it's about this weekend. Check that out. Is she going to bake a cake? Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's April 21st, Sunday. So, what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you, too? A cake for me? Mmm, I hope so. Okay, listen again and practice, please. Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's April 21st, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? A cake for me? Mmm. Just one last time, please. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? 
It's April 21st, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? A cake for me? Mmm, I hope so. Very good. Now, time to practice. Copy. And paste. What is it? Okay. There it is. You got the conversation through WhatsApp. Now, let's come back to this. And I'm going to have you practice, please. You're going to practice three times with a partner. You decide if you want to be Ava or you're going to be Martin, please. But try to change roles. So let's recreate this. One person is going to be, it's going to take a break. One person will just take a break. We'll take a little. Okay, one person is going to take a little break and the other two are going to be practicing. And then I'm going to change you and practice again. And then I'm going to change you and practice again. But one person is going to be always like resting. Not the same person who changed the person. So here we go. Remember the conversation is on WhatsApp.
Okay, so thank you very much. Hugo and Jade are going to present this conversation together. Jessica and Sofia are going to present this conversation together too. And Diana and the teacher are going to present the conversation. So let's we'll start with Diana. Diana, come on, you're B. Ava. I am Martin, please. Okay. Yeah. Diana, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's April 21st, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? A cake for me? Mm, I don't think. A cake for me? <laughs> Sorry, I hope so. I don't think so. That's it's a commitment. <laughs> no, no lo creo. I don't think so. All right. I hope so. Es exactamente lo mismo. Wait, déjenme aprovechar este momento. All right. I don't think so. I hope so. Es lo mismo decir no lo creo. Uh, eso espero, no lo creo. I don't think so. All right. So thank you. And now, uh, Diana, you're Martin. I am Ava. Okay. I am Ava. So let me start. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's April 21st, Sunday. So, what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? A cake for me? Mm, I hope so. Excellent, very good, bravo, Diana. Now, let's listen to Hugo and Jade. Y va a ser exactamente lo mismo, dos veces, all right? So, let's do it. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it happening? It's April 25th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? I'm going to go my friend Rosa's home. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? Okay, for me, mm, I have some. Thank you so much. Very good. All right. Now, vice versa. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is, what is it exactly? It's April 21st, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday? Okay for you too? Okay for me? Mm, I hope so. Very good. Okay, very good. Yeah, me too. I hope so. Yeah. And now the last turn is to uh, for Jessica and Sofia. Let's start with uh, Jessica. Your Ava and Sofia. Your Martin, please. You going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! When is this exactly? It's April twenty first, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Um, I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? A cake for me? Mm, I hope so. Very good. Okay, now vice versa, please. Sofia, you're Ava, and uh, Jessica, you're Martin. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's April 21st, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to call a special dinner for me. Nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? I keep for me? Hmm, I hope so. 
Very good. Yes, great, great. Okay, students. So this is just so easy for you guys. Now going to going to so let's just tell you that going to these two words going to going to and going to have a special pronunciation in real english in a more colloquial english in a more casual english going to is pronounced like this it's more like this like gonna all right when you hear the word gonna all right you hear this word is exactly the first part is and the second part is here okay so in that question it should sound like are you gonna are you gonna do all right are you gonna do so it should be like from here to here and from here to here. All right. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? So, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. What is it exactly? It's April 21st, Sunday. What are your plans? I'm going to, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to my friend Rosa's house. She's going to, she's going to cook a special dinner for me. Oh, nice. Is Rosa going to bake a birthday cake for you too? Right? That's kind of thing. So the pronunciation of going to in colloquial forms is gonna. Yeah, we'll check out that example. Let me clear this up. And let's check out this example. Check it out. The reduction of going to. All right, and then you'll hear that reduction. That's the pronunciation. Sometimes people write it, sometimes people do not write that. Check out. And then later we're gonna we're gonna hear these examples. One and two. Let's listen, please, to the examples. Reduction of going to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to to gonna. Are you gonna go to the game? No, I'm gonna study for a test. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. No. I'm going to study for a test. Go to the game? Sorry. Are you going to go to the game? No, I'm going to study for a test. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Gonna. Are you going to go to the game? Are you going to go to the game? Are you going to go to the game? No, I'm going to study for a test. 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 Are you going to go to a restaurant? Are you going to go to a restaurant? Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Okay, so you hear that pronunciation, that's gonna, and that's very That's not formal, that's informal. That's different ways to, you know, express these ideas. So now what you're going to do is, in fact, practice this, you know, we're going to practice this, and we're gonna practice this, okay? So are you gonna to go to the game? Let me just go this one first. Are you gonna go, are you gonna, gonna, are you gonna to go to the games? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna study for a test, okay? Are you gonna to go to the game? No, I'm gonna study for a test. 
Are you going to go to restaurant? Are you going to go to restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. So practice in practice in practice, all right? So, y del equipo donde hay tres miembros, vamos a seleccionar a dos para que ustedes presenten contra el otro equipo. A ver quién hace mejor esa pronunciación casual de going to, que normalmente en las conversaciones del día a día se pronuncia como gana. All right. So, first thing, I just copy as usual this pronunciation stuff. And now I'm going to put it uh, to WhatsApp. And you're going to practice that. I'm going to give you like three minutes of practice, and then we'll present that pronunciation practice. All right, you have it on WhatsApp. Um, now I'm going to come back to this. And again, I like, it just like you to. It's going to be a team with three people, and there's going to be a team with only two people. So team with three people and one team with two people. So and here we go. Please practice, practice, practice. And then we have the competition to close up today's session. There you go. Are you going to go to the game? No, I'm going to study for a test. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe.
All right, so let's begin with Deanna and Jade. All right, so let me tell you, the first time Deanna is going to be A, and then, of course, uh, Deanna is gonna be A, and Jade is gonna be B. And then continue, Deanna A, and Jade B. After that, Jade is gonna be A, and Deanna B, etc., etc., etc. Come on, let's let's start with Diana and Jade. Okay. Are you gonna go to the game? No, I'm gonna study for a test. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to need coffee. Cafe. Are you gonna go to the game? No, I'm gonna study for a test. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Excellent, very good, all right. Thank you. Now we try the two representatives for team number one. ¿Quiénes son? ¿Decidieron quiénes van a presentar? No, okay. Okay, you all right, Sofia and? Me. All right, Jessica. All right, so let's do it. Let's start. Are you gonna go to game? No, I'm gonna study for test. Are you gonna go to restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nike's coffee. And switch. Are you gonna go to game? To the game? No, I'm gonna uh, study for a test. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Nick's Cafe. Yes, okay, that was good, girls. All right. Uh, pero tengo que dar el Oscar a un equipo. Y ese equipo, cual creen que sea. Team number two, Jan and Jay. Yes, all right. Bien, pero vamos a tener revancha. You're welcome. Vamos a tener revancha next. We're going to have a revenge next Saturday. All right. Así que les voy a encargar otra tareita en uh, la plataforma, en Google Classroom. Y esta ocasión olvidé ponerles el enlace para quienes están trabajando muy ocupados. Pero se los voy a poner para que ustedes vayan y lean las oraciones y se preparen para el próximo sábado. Gana, gana, gana. Sugiero que vean alguno que otro video en YouTube y van a escuchar a Gana. Ahí, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Y si cuesta trabajo en el principio porque uno tiene, tiene la tendencia a decir Gana, Gana to study. No, ya no se usa el to, Gana study. Eso es lo que se usa. Ok. So, thank you so much for having me uh, here today and I will see you next Saturday. Have a beautiful weekend, right? Hope you're going to have a beautiful Sunday tomorrow. Goodbye. 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 Take care. Bye bye. Take care, everyone.